Hello. Making dissolved toggles for your avatar is one good way of making toggles. Instead of the thing disappearing out of existence, instead you have a very slow effect of it going away. I find myself doing it a lot, but there is one problem you might run into and that's maybe why you clicked on this video. Let's say you're like me and you have multiple shirts or items in the same place. This could be a problem when trying to toggle one or the other as boolean toggles don't work that way. If you've done it before, you're needing to turn one off and then turn the other one on so they don't fuse together. I'll be showing you how to do this with an int. So let's get started. Right click on your project window, create, and then create an animation controller. Right click on your project window again, create, VR chant, avatars, and you'll have to make a menu and a parameter. I'll be making a parameter first. Do the process over again for the menu. Right click on your project window, create, VR chant, avatars, and then you'll have to make a menu now. To use these on your avatar, click on your avatar in the hierarchy. Drag your controller that you just made into your animator controller and then into your playable FX layer. As well, drag your menu and your parameter into your expressions. Now go into your animator. If you don't see it, click on window and then throw it into one of your tabs. Hit the plus, create a layer, name it where you want, put the weight to one, and you only need one of these since it's an int. Go to your parameters tab, hit the plus, Create an int and name it. As well with the VRChat parameter, click on it, add a parameter, change the type to int, and name it the same thing as you did with the other parameter. Before we go into your animations, check your materials. Click on your avatar, go to the object you want to dissolve, go to its material, unlock it if it's locked, turn rendering to cutout, go to special effects, and turn dissolve on. For what's in the dissolve menu, I'm guessing you already have it set up to your liking. But for those that don't know how any of this works, I have a follow-up video coming up in a little bit. Anyways, the only settings I'll be messing with is dissolve type, dissolve color, and dissolve alpha for the sake of this video. I'll be changing dissolve type to point to point, and clicking on dissolve color, move the alpha channel to zero for the invisible effect. Make sure you have the settings you want for all the other objects you're dissolving as well. Go into your animation tab. If you don't see it as well, go to window. It'll be in windows or animations, either or. Create a new animation. I'll be naming it shirt one since I'm going to be doing my shirts. Hit the record button, turn the shirt off and then on, and then move the dissolve alpha to one. Go to one minute and then bring the alpha back to zero. Note, you can mess with detail strength as well if the dissolve isn't dissolving the whole effect. Check if it works, done. Record the next object on your list and repeat the same steps. Click on the name on your animation and create a new clip. For simplicity, I named it Shirt2. Hit record, turn the other shirt off and then on, move the dissolve alpha to one, and then go to one minute and turn the alpha back to zero. Now create another animation. This will be the dissolving off effect for all of the items. I only have two, so that's all I'll be doing. Hit record, set the alpha to zero at zero zero for both of the meshes. Then go to 1 minute and set the alphas to 1. A question you might ask now is won't they just dissolve together? No. First, turn the meshes off since we'll need them off by default. In game, only one can be turned on. If you're wanting one of them to be on by default, keep watching. Go back to your project window and find the animations you made. Pull out the animator again and drag your animations into the layer that you made. Move the any state to the right. Move the exit state right next to entry since we won't be using it. Drag your dissolve off in between the any state. This will need to be the default state as well. Right click on the dissolve off and make it the layer default state. Now for the rest of the toggles that you have, move them to the right. I almost forgot to mention, but turn off loop time in your animations you made. Create the transitions now. Right click on the any state and make the transitions. Connect the any state to all the animations. Before we do the transition settings and conditions, I want to point out that you can use the any state to select all the transitions instead of clicking on all the arrows. For the dissolve off transition settings, turn exit time on, fix duration on, and transition duration to 1. Note, this is to play the whole animation shown in the preview. You could drag the blue arrows to line it up better if you need to. For the settings of the actual toggles, turn fix duration off, transition duration to 0, and turn can transition to self off. You can copy these transitions by right clicking on the transition tab and pasting it onto the other toggles. Set up your conditions as usual. With dissolve off, click the plus in conditions. Set the parameter if it's not already there. Turn greater to equal and keep it as zero. For the others, do the same. First toggle equals as one. 
and the second toggle equals as two. Again, you could just copy the settings and conditions from the other transitions. Now that the transitions are done, go into your project window and click on your VRChat menu you made. Click Add Controllers, name it, set the type to toggle, then go to your parameter and look for the int that you made. To get a reference on what you're trying to do, these connect to the values you did in your conditions. My first shirt value is 1, and my second shirt is 2. Turn off the objects if you haven't yet, and then test the toggles with the emulator like Luma or in VRChat and see if it works. You might run into this by the way where your shirt is turning on. Check your base layer. Make a new state and set it to the default layer. It was being activated by another layer. If you're wanting one of your meshes to be the default by the way, go to your VRChat parameter menu and set the default to a number that's not zero. Now just for some notes, I want to clarify that there's definitely other ways of making dissolve toggles not colliding with each other. As shown in this tutorial, this is how I do it. This isn't a full solution to solving the problem since when you're toggling from one mesh to the other, it just completely disregards the undissolving effect. This is because we're using the in parameter and it snaps to whatever toggle is being used by the player. So you're still needing to turn that one off and then that one on to get the whole effect. If anybody is better than me with transitions on how to make this kind of toggle, just leave it in the comments. A little thing I wanted to point out as well is if you screwed up with your transitions, uh, just hit your delete key and it will just delete the transition. I know there is no delete button, but you know, it's just how Unity is. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any other ways of making dissolve toggles, leave it in the comments if you want. The video I mentioned, by the way, early on was about the dissolve tab. Originally, it was going to be a part of this video, but I feel like it needs its own video since it's going over the whole tab. So you'll probably see it the next time I upload. But anyways, bye bye. I'll see you later.